Hi and welcome to another video of Dad's RC Hanger. Um, I had to think then this is the second uh, video of the build of the F9F Panther. Um, it shouldn't have gone as far as it did on the first build video um, but I do chat a lot. Um, yeah, let's get on with part two. Okie dokie, so we're going to put some more bits on, we're going to blue, blue tack, we're going to foam tack the nose at some point. We've got our little uh, little tray of goodies that we're going to stick onto the plane today. Um, the, the glue stuck well, in, even if it was in a, a cold hanger, um, it's, uh, it's okay, the plane is, uh, is as it was, it's all good. Uh, I bought a bit close because obviously we're going to start putting some <clears throat> some um, control horns and stuff on the actual plane itself. So we've got to, we've got one either side of the tail. Um, let's try not to shout as I'm getting close to you. Um, so we just basically we've got one there to put there and one one here to put. Um, we've got the we've got uh, tops and bottoms. Um, they are they oh without dropping them on the floor, which I just did. <coughs> it's okay. There we go. So we've got one of them that gets, sits on the top, and then one of the them that sits on the bottom. That then uh, lets you control the uh, elevators in this uh, in this part. Note to self, or note to anyone that wants to buy this plane and build it, you should do this before you glue it together. Why? Well, because it'd be great you need if you had it on its side, like so. Um, obviously, I, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, not good. So, yeah, I mean, I can do it like this way, I guess. The wing's kind of over there, and but it'd be a lot easier. But as I say, you, you live and learn. I can still probably uh, screw it together. So we've got some small screws that come with the, the pack. Um, even though, if you remember, <laughs> they, they, they stole my screwdriver that's meant to come with the pack. And the unboxing, if you remember? Yes. They owe me a screwdriver. Oh. Now, see, that fell out. See, if I had a proper screwdriver that should have come with the pack, that wouldn't have happened. Anything that happens now is because I haven't got that screwdriver. I might need a whole new plane. It might... Oh. See, I've lost that screw. No, it is. So if I'm made in and I crash, it's because I didn't have the right screwdriver to tighten up the screws. Yeah. Um, okay, so we want it so the holes of the of the of the horn or whatever this thing's called, looking it. Oh, me and names. Wow. Anyway, that needs to face the front of the plane because uh, that's where we will join our connections, <coughs> so we can. Um, we can control the elevators basically. <laughs> ah, yeah, this is why you should do it when it's not glued together because then I could just mind you saying that I probably wouldn't be able to hold it properly. But let's just, let's just stick that in. I'll tell you what we'll do we'll stick it in the oud up there and then we'll hold this on there. It only needs a bite. A bite to eat. <laughs> oh dear, look, more fingers and thumbs. Some pliers, I'm going to hold that with the pliers. Maybe, rather than me. Chubby checkers. It's not slang, I just call them chubby because they're chubby and they're checkers, I don't know why. Yeah, that's made it, right, okay, right. Good thing, maybe hold it with a pair of pliers. It kind of keeps it sturdy within rather than your fingers are kind of, if you've got sort of fat fingers like me then it's going to be a lot easier to hold it with a um, pair of pliers because this one should be lined up but just in case we're going to hold that little top protruding round thing and if I can see straight I'll get the screw underneath and hopefully Hopefully it should start 
screw. I'm making a right pig's ear of this. Sorry if everyone's cringing. Right, okay, look, you see they're both coming through now. Fantastic. Right, so the next piece, the next bit would be to turn it over. Probably, can you see it? Yes, you can. And, can I see it? I thought I had a good spot for the camera today. Let's just, uh, let's just drop it. So I'm dropping you. If I can zoom in a bit more. No, there you go. Right. Blame the cold. Well, I just want to make sure that this is tight, but that it's not crushing the foam. And it's still not really showing it in my, so apologies. Let's just move the camera a bit. I am next to it so I can play with all the, the knob things. There we go. Right, okay. So I just want to make sure that this is uh, tight but not tight that it's going to start crushing the plastic and the, uh, the, the foam. The trouble is, <laughs> this foam is so thin and light and flimsy that you know you wouldn't know if you're crushing it. So whether that's, oops, sorry. Whether that's uh, protruded, let me just try and get this in a decent position. Um, okay, in focus there. So they're protruding there. And it seems it seems like it's okay. Um, You know, it's uh, not the best thing to show on here, is it? It's because it's the yellow and the bent light bouncing off the yellow light. But there, that's on there anyway, so that will that's be your control. And then we'll put the uh, the bits and pieces on the rods. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stop it there, and I'm going to put the rest of these on. Uh, rather than you enduring pain and suffering of me doing it all. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, yeah. Let's just pause the video a bit there. All right, and back again. Um, it wasn't too long. I think it was the actual, the first one was a pain in the buttocks, but the other two, uh, three, shall we, went on fine. So here we got, um, here we got them stuck on there. Now they do protrude a bit, the uh, screws, but we can cut them. Now the ones on the ailerons, they went on fine. Now, if you look on there, the ailerons, if I, just bring it into shot, so I'm getting into shot. They're not protruding. Now, I was a bit worried about that. So what I did is I got some more epoxy, stuck the epoxy, stuck them on with the epoxy, top and bottom, and still screwed, so I know they're gonna stay there. Now, the funny thing is, when, when you look at the instructions, um, they don't mention anything about putting these on. They don't mention about uh, putting the servos with the clear clefs, clefs, is it clefis, clevis, clevis, something like that. But anyway, the push rods for the servos. It doesn't say anything about that either. So, with mine missing the screwdriver, are we saying maybe that this didn't get put together like it should do from the shop? But it's okay because Chris said Dad's RC hanger. We like to do these things. So, if you do get one that's pre built for you, fantastic. If not, then you're just gonna to to do what I'm doing. Now with those protruding screws, it does look a bit ugly where I've been having a fight with that other one. I will uh, cut them off. I've got some, some super snips that will cut them off. Um, but that is, that's that's those done. Now, let's do the ailerons. Now, um, I should really get my servo tester. Should I get my servo tester? Let's get my servo tester. Let's do that, shall we? Let's zoom into there. There we go. Let's get my servo tester out. In fact, I, I thought to myself, let's get my servo tester out before I begin the video again. But I didn't. Of course I didn't. Mainly because I got... It would be over there, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, someone knocked on the hanger. The wife. So, let's get a battery. Um, what have we got here? A three cell, I think. Do 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 three S battery. That will do. Which is the Panther series on here, not so one of RC Ocean RCs. So there's my trusty servo tester. This is not bad. This is pretty good. 
it's, it does the does what it says on the tin and uh, I just use my uh, an ESC to <coughs> to regulate the power so let's get plugged in oh my broke out in song then let's get well I better not sing that song actually because I'll get told by YouTube or something stupid right okay there we go stick that in let's stick the power in to be versatile and it comes up first of all with manual we want to put it neutral there's neutral there we go there you can see that moving around there we go let's stick that neutral so that is that looks good neutral as I say it doesn't say on here uh, if we need to center it middle or or bottom uh, I would say go for uh, middle maybe so you push that in and that goes there so that's we'll put it on anyway so that's mood that needs to be unwound so used to not doing these anymore I think that should be pretty good um, sorry let's just clip that on the top hole of there um, I have got a little little tool for this so that fits in there fits in there oh, uh, okay Chris you're an idiot go on everyone ladies and gentlemen call me an idiot this goes this way around <laughs> that goes in does it? yeah that goes in I thought it was a bit uh, easy to go in that pops in there because it literally pops in there it's a bit oh, there you go in fact no that needs to be popped in the other side so we're going on the inside push the first bit in pop the second round mind you there's still look at I don't know if, can you see that you, oh, you can actually yeah they is it in shot I don't think I'm all zoomed in I am so that's bending that will bend if it goes in there which is no good is it well, let's try it this way again better but hmm okay We'll give it a go, we'll see what it's like, but that doesn't look very straight to me. Should go for a middle. Let's just push that in, not clip it, and let's go auto. I would say that's huge rates. <laughs> okay, uh, there is, uh, I've popped it in, but I have a little spanner for that. Uh, not spanner, sort of like a pliers that do that. Push the rubber thing on to hold it tight that's pretty that's neutral and that looks pretty smooth to me I mean it looks pretty in line that's not bad actually so that that's that size it's simple as that so we'll take out our servo tester <coughs> excuse me I think I've got a bit of a, a cold thing going on I've had it this frog in the throat it just won't disappear um, let's put that in there make sure that's uh, moving nicely you should be able to see that if not it's uh, you can you know fall asleep watching that put that in the middle and right so what did we do we went on the outside so let's um, let's let's plug this in so push it in one end and sort of bend towards it, pop it goes uh, let's wind that to the side so we could be could be on for gold for that one might not even have twist it, oh no it does it, you see it's uh, it's down you can see that in fact so let's undo that and we'll tighten it one maybe two turns let's uh, try that stick it in the hole one more turn, I've got a feeling that's going to be the that's going to be there on the money push that in, yep that's it, I'm going to clip that I'm going to stick the rubber on to hold it clipped, the clevis, I think it's called a clevis and then we'll give it a go with the auto, push the button and there we go those plastic hinges work in wonders I mean that's, that's some violent throws isn't it, I mean that this plane's going to be <laughs> crazy uh, see there we go, a bit of that's that's awesome I like that and stick it back in the middle make sure that we're good that looks pretty good to me that looks nice level 
not much trimming to be had with that hopefully let's unplug now <clears throat> this one's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit harder to, well it's, no, it's pretty easier to do I suppose but inside uh, we've got our servo with our double our double uh, bar you can see um, you see there it is it's quite hard to actually look and see right well, it's here it's here so what we'll do we'll get this get that doesn't need to be in the middle at the moment actually we'll, we'll take out our uh, thing I, I, I was going to make a little box for this servo tester but it's, it's kind of loose like that because then it's good to take on the field okay so let's loosen off that so then our bars become nice and loose and if you remember we've got a foam tack this side but on this side this side should be really good to go now <clears throat> we've got uh, they've got two spares with these uh, clevises I think they're called clevises I'm not very good at names you know that I said but there's two spares which is kind of cool so let's see how far I can pull this out I mean I could put it out all the way it doesn't matter does it there you go look this this, this can you see that there you go just to put this on and we're gonna get some pliers to hold the bar uh, you should be able to see that it's very hard because it's it's uh, it's basically thin metal or a round thin metal so you can see as I'm twisting the clevis on I'm gonna sound like a right idiot if it's not a clevis but I think it is so another thing it doesn't want to screw on which is good in a way because you know the plastics will I think that is screwing on he says half an hour later and we're still screwing on I think what it is is that that ah right okay let me have a look at another one no hmm. yes. It looks like on that one it hasn't got a through hole, but let's look at the others. No, it should have all holes. It should have all. Let me unwind that. To me, it doesn't look, it's on, but it doesn't, oh, it has got a hole. Okay, I'm lying. Maybe it's just it uh, takes a while to come through. Two hours later. Right, okay, uh, that's on, I think. <laughs> I'm trusting it, but it looks like, but it's not popped out through there. But I know it's up to there, so that's not going to come off, he says. Let me just have a good tug of that. that. That's good. It's good. It's good. So let's put that also in the middle one. Do -do 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 -do. Da, 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 da. All fingers on thumbs. This is when you need. This is when you need tools, like so. See, I always try and do it with my fingers. And clip. Put the rubbery thing on. So it holds it clipped. Which is a good idea. I mean, I can't see it personally coming off, but I, I don't even know if I. You, yeah, yeah. It's in shot, I believe. It's just a. Uh, this is really against me today, this build. I don't know why. Not even the rubbery thing wants to go up properly. There you go. There's a bit of both side action. Right, so. So if I pull that. That's all good. So that will could be stick back in the hole. I must admit, I don't like the, the dual wires going in one hole, personally. I just don't know why, I just don't. Now that's pretty scary. Mm. That's pretty scary how much that's used. Wow. Okay. Maybe we will. Let me let me take off that one. Let me just uh let's, let's push that out to its extremities as to say. So out. Then I'm going to, uh, so you're not seeing what I'm, let's get that out of the way. Right, with that basically straight, you can see that it's just there. It's not got much on it. And the, uh, 
elevators are level. But let's just put the servo test on it because it could be that um, that it's uh, it's it's not central. That's why it's always good to do these with a servo tester if I get the cables around the white right way um, because you then you can see exactly where to put it in and you know it's pretty good right okay that is center holy crap or is it no it's not sorry that's center so that is center holy crap that's not good at all is it that doesn't give you any Wow, so that needs to be unscrewed that end. Now that's a now I, I must admit that is pretty hmm, pretty bad really because it doesn't give you a lot sticking out from the servo, does it? What a pain in the rear end. And to be honest, you know, on 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 here, how many times am I going to say on <laughs> on here? I mean, maybe even if I put it on the bottom, no, it's still, even if I put it on the bottom one, it's, it does not that much in. Maybe I'll have to wind that back out a bit, just to give a bit more bite on the, on the, for the servo. But, um, yeah. Let's just turn the heater off as everyone's going off. Thank God for that, it's making so much noise. Probably wasn't. I think my droning voice makes more noise. Right, let's just, let's put this rubber thing off. Um, I should be able to just do that, yes, there you go. Right, get my special, special one. Let's pull that out. Let's wind this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do eight. Let's do eight. And uh, just to put that in the hole. I hope I'm on shot. I, I know, yeah, you know what I'm doing though, so that's, that's fine. And that's kind of level. So let's see how much is sticking out. So let's stick it in the actual hole. Put this where I think it's level. Wow. <sighs> okay. Okay. That's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I mean, I might be able to, I'll tell you what I might be able to move is the actual... Is that? I mean, hmm. I mean, you can see it in there. See, it's just literally holding on to the bar. That's centre there. Maybe if I move the actual bar on the servo a, a slight step to the right. Shall we see what that does? So we'll undo um, we'll undo uh, the um, holder thing <laughs> technical name and then that's undo the servo let's get the screw out, where's my pliers? The servo arm like so we'll lift it like so and then we'll turn it a notch until it goes on the uh the cog like so um that's before we put the screw on let's just tighten that so is that level down there let's just look at the plane one second yeah that's level Right, so that's sticking out now about six mil, six millimeters, about um, two eighths across the pond. Right, let's just, um, yeah, that's good. That's it's just it's just oh, it's just okay. <clears throat> so if I show you now, I mean you can see the the bar is. When it comes back, it's just near enough hitting the base, but it's not perfect. So at least I've got a bit of metal sticking out the end, which is what we want. 
there you go fixed done let's just we know it's in center now let's take the uh, servo tester off but yeah that's that's pretty crazy huh so before I forget let's put the screw back in the servo arm before that uh, flies off I'm conscious uh, I'm conscious of the time it takes me to do, to do these things that it will go into sort of like you know uh, three episodes or three videos as you like to call it but at least we're, we're getting there and if you come across these problems you don't have to think about them you know how to do them that's that's about joining my joining my quest just tighten that out yeah, they're a bit loose as well check check all your screws when you get them especially the ones that hold the servos you know you can see it's a bit loose see that give them a tight not too much because these are plastic and they will break so that's yeah as I say it's about three sixteenths well two eighths maybe about six mil in the, in the UK and Europe but well we won't worry about it. what I'm going to put on I'm going to put on the clevis first so let's hold it again and wind it on um, so let's give it a good few wound, winds wounds let's wind it on a, a fair bit so yeah that's good and strong um, and where is that sticking out yeah that's sticking out a bit further than that one but you know if you, this is quite important to get ripe <laughs> Because if you're flying and, and they, they fall off, then it's bad, bad stuff happens. So we said we would put some foam tack on here, but I think we should just go with a bit of epoxy. We're, we're, we're mixing up the epoxy, it's quick. I don't have to sit there and wait until it strings out for a couple of minutes. I know it's a couple of minutes, but you know. So we've got our epoxy tray and we've still got some epoxy left. That's just epoxy, baby. Oh yeah. This time it's a different day, we'll go with a bit of A to start off with, and then a bit of B. So it does look like that I need to look at the uh, how long is this video going. It could be going into a third. But with all this ready, we're ready for the electronics. The, the nose cone, I am going to um, foam tack, because that's the most likely thing to, to crash into and you want it nice and uh, easy to come back off again because you know it's a lot easier to take foam tack off i would have thought right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to glue loads of surfaces actually but glue this surface it's quite a lot of glue to to glue in to put on here as i say, i don't really need to go mega to the edges i suppose as long as it's trying to we don't want to put it in here in the where the actual rod goes uh, we don't need to the rod glue in it doesn't move the rod but you know i don't want any on um the m the metal <laughs> but that's okay because i can remove this because this is in a pipe in the plane let's let's remove that because we've got to stick it through here and i don't really want to get any glue on on the actual um, the bar that uh, that pulls your servos that wouldn't be very good especially with um, especially with epoxy stinky epoxy um, okay so that's going to go in there like that I think we'll put a bit on the back yeah I'm almost sure that all these little holes that you get in here are for when they were spraying it I'm almost certain of it. Uh, I was going to put a, a light spodges there. Would it go there? Yes, we'll stick a bit on the edge there. So we've got some on the edge. Oops, sorry, there. Can you see that? A bit on the edge there. We we'll put. A, it's, it's quite as I say. Once I think, you know, to be honest, if once it's on this fascia, it's, it will be fine. Um, you can always stick a bit on this 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 side. I'm probably going a bit OTT because this is, you know, it's not going to be. Uh, <laughs> it's not holding the plane together this bit. Uh-huh. And we'll stick some just on the bottom over here. Mooch it along. Use the rest of the glue that we've got made up. So we're not to waste any. 
See, so, yeah, I didn't screw the glue that back there actually. Yeah. So let's just put a bit on the top there to help it not move. It's down to self preference, I think, you know, have a think about it and wherever you want to stick it. But the main part is that you've got plenty on the fascia because that's basically where it's going to, to stick. And I think that's all the glue that I made up. Be surprised, you think you're going to make up loads with a couple of splodges, and by the time you mix it, I don't know if the fairies take it or what, but yeah. Right, okay. So let's stick that stinky thing over there. Then we've got to try and stick this through. So by using my trusty pliers, I'm going to see if I can stick that through. It was a lot easier with the bar, and there you go, that was not bad at all. That went in nice. So push that in, and then push in, and you can see the bars come out. He says, just here, so that's come out nice. That slipped in really, really nice. It was good. Now you can see that where it moved yesterday, I was a bit, when I said to you, I was a bit worried it was moved over a bit. It did, just a little bit. So I'm a bit worried how this plane's gonna fly. Hasn't got a rudder. So is a, a slight little that way gonna make it move around on its ass? I don't know, I really don't know. <laughs> Soon find out. So when you are gluing this together, as you can see, it's a bit over that side and a bit under this side, which means that the rudder or the vertical, vertical stabilizer is pointing to a bit. So <sighs> depends on the torque of the EDF. Maybe I'm sort of balancing it out. <laughs> I don't know, talk a load of crap me. But if it does, I can always rub that down, sandpaper it down, put some foam filler here, and then, you know, get some, some of this color paint airbrush it so it's not the end of the world it is the end of the world it's not the end of the world shut up okay right so i do i want to do i want to stick that in there now do i hope that there's no actually glue in there well what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick this in there first like so and i'm going to leave it out while it dries because you don't know if there's going to be a little bit of glue in there while i pushed it through and if I did, and I get the rod stuck, I'll be upset. So, let's just pause it right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video right there. Um, I, on the previous video of the build, I didn't say goodbye. I'm so sorry. Um, I think I was waffling on so much that I ran out of time. And I don't like to make the videos mega, mega long. And when I come to putting them on the program, I think, why should I cut it out? You know, it's me, it's my journey. Um, you're following my journey, so why should it be all make up and take three and four and five? Because that's what I would do otherwise. But uh, I'm going to leave this to dry. The reason I'm going to leave this to dry is I don't want to put the rod in that tube if there's a little bit of glue in there. Because if it sticks it in there, with that I I'm stuffed. We, 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 yeah, I'm stuffed. So I'd rather just leave it. Um, I did say that there's glue in. I mean, the nose cone we put on last anyway. And that will be the f finishing touch, which will be, will be foam tack. So I can actually show you the foam tech method um, but yeah so I will um, I will do this I won't be doing the video tomorrow be the day after but it won't really matter when you're watching this because you'll be watching it hopefully one after the other which would be instantaneous for you or 30 minutes or have a break and then watch another one and this one I don't know but I hope you're learning something. If you do like this plane and you do want it it is on the Motion RC website um, I don't want to keep plugging uh, people um, but um, it's it's a good price and as you see it's a lovely plane and by watching this video you can learn where you could should do things the right way or differently um, as I say in the instructions it hasn't got anything about the control uh, the control uh, horns um, because it's already made so maybe maybe they've started producing these already built I don't know uh, but in the instructions in it was free wing are pretty good it's not mentioned in there um, it's, it's all there ready done dusted ready to rock and roll plug and play um, but I, I enjoy doing it you know it's fun uh, as long as I'm a bit worried about this just being a bit bit sort of over to one side I hopefully because it's got no rudder um, that that's not going to cause me mega problems but hey at the end of the day it's me flying <laughs> it's uh, whatever anyway until then keep safe and if you can't fly get on the old computer and do some flying
Be safe now. See you later. Bye-bye.